So you're an aspiring engineer. Today I'm going to show you how to make the first of 16 parts in Fusion 360. Let's do it. Now the first thing you should do is pause the video and follow the link down below and uh, download the drawing of this first part. Uh, I've got it here on a clipboard so that I can put it right next to my, my screen and I can look at that while I'm actually working on the CAD program. Now there's one of these for each of the 16 parts in this playlist. Now you can sign up for my email list and you can, if you really want to, you can unsubscribe straight afterwards. But I'm going to work hard to make it really worthwhile for you to stay on there. Next, make a folder to put your 16 parts in. Uh, just go up to this little uh, data panel button up here in the top left and new folder and something like 16 parts. That'll do. Now, are you ready? I'm going to go nice and slow for the first few videos in this series so that people who are absolute beginners will have no problem at all. Right, let's begin. Let's click on this little button up here called Create Sketch. And that will show you three different planes in space. Uh, let's click on that one that's uh, at the back there. Then the, the plane will turn and face you. Let's start with the two-point rectangle tool, which is on the toolbar there. Click, drag, and click. Then we'll go up and drop down the menu just under that sketch button. And down the bottom there, we've got sketch dimension. Click on the top of the rectangle, click again, and type in 200. Press enter. Click on the, one of the sides of the rectangle, click again, this time type 90 and press enter. So uh, that's the, the basic shape of it. Now go and click on the next one along and that is the line tool. And we just want to mouse over the top of the rectangle and anywhere there as long as you've got that little blue X visible. And then uh, pull, the, uh, pull the line down. You notice that it's like a rubber band and every time you go either vertical or horizontal, it'll snap to vertical or horizontal. As long as it's looking uh, horizontal or vertical, we want vertical this time, just click and then go across, get it horizontal, doesn't matter how far. You can ignore all those things on the cursor at this stage, just click somewhere over there, get a, hor get a, a now get a nice vertical line up on the top line and uh, that will cause the, the line tool to stop working. The next thing we want to do is drop down the sketching uh, menu there and find the trim tool which is halfway down roughly and then uh, come along and mouse over the top of the sketch there between the two lines we've drawn. It turns red, click on it and it disappears. Now back to this sketch menu. Down at the bottom there we've got sketch dimension. I'm going to do this again. On the top here we want to make that 40 type it in and press it and you'll notice that as soon as you hit the enter key the length of the line changes. Do the same over here on the other side. 40 and it changes. This time click on that horizontal line and the baseline down below place the dimension outside somewhere and type in 50. And uh, that's about it for now. I've got a reason for not completing all the fillets here and I'll explain that to you as we go. Uh, it's so much easier if you keep things very simple just as you're making a beginning. So let's uh, click on stop sketch up there on the right hand of the menu bar above and we've got an isometric view. Uh, just uh, adjust your view a little bit by using your scroll button on your mouse. Get it where in a comfortable place. Click on this button here which is called Extrude and you can just mouse over these things until you find the one that you want. It's got a tooltip there, it's called Extrude and it shows you that other panel there with a bit of extra information. Now let's click on the outline of the profile that we've just drawn. It turns blue and uh, we can actually grab that little arrow and move that wherever we like. 
but you notice that we've got a focused field here and let's type in 40 and press enter. There we go. The next thing I want to do is put some little fillets on the uh, edges of this thing and so uh, on the modify uh, menu we can find fillet which is up the top of the menu and I'm going to select these edges that you can see on the drawing and the radius of all of those edges is 10. Type in 10, press enter and there it is. We'll do that one more time. Modify, fill it. I want that one down the bottom of the back and the one on the bottom of the, the other side. This one is 15, press enter. And now we're going to put in a couple of holes on here. There is a hole tool but I'll show you how to use that hole tool another time. At this stage we're just going to draw a circle. So drop down the sketch menu and we find circle. There's all kinds of circles here, it doesn't really matter which one. Let's take the top one which is center diameter circle. I'm going to click somewhere on the front here which starts a new sketch and I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to purposely make it the wrong size and I'm going to put it in a, an odd place. That'll do right there. Next we need the dimension, uh, the dimension tool again and I'm going to click on the circle and give it a, a size that is a dimension, a diameter of 15. The same with the other one, diameter of 15. Now the next thing I want to do is go to the select tool which is in the toolbar up there next to the stop sketch button. And then I'm going to select that circle, hold down the shift key and select the, one of the fillets at the bottom there and you notice that when they're selected they get this blue shadow. If you hold down the shift key it means you can select more than one item. In the little panel on the right we have a thing down in there uh, called uh, under constraints and there's one there that's called concentric, two little concentric circles. Click on that button and that causes the, the circle that we've drawn to snap into the right place here. Let's do the same thing again. I'm going to use the select tool which is still selected to select the circle. Hold down the shift key and select the other fillet. Watch what happens when I click on the concentric button. The circle jumps into position so that the, the radius on the, on the fillet and the circle share the same point of origin. Now we're going to extrude this, uh, this sketch. So I'm clicking on this extrude button. Drops us out of the sketch and opens up the extrude dialog. Now, what, I, what we'll do is we'll select the, uh, one of the circles and the other circle. Notice that the little arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. So we'll start here uh, from, the, from object or from the plane, the profile plane. The direction is uh, one side. Uh, the extent is to all and we'll go the other way, grab that little arrow and point it this way and change the extent to all and press OK. Uh, but don't, don't forget to uh, change the operation from join uh, to cut and then, press, then click OK and our part's finished. So hold down the middle mouse button and turn it around, get the feel for that, zoom in and out Notice that if I put the mouse over on the right hand side of the, uh, the screen and scroll out, the part goes towards my mouse. If I scroll back up, it goes away from the mouse. And if I put the mouse on the left hand side of the part, I scroll away and it goes towards the mouse, scroll up and it moves away from the mouse. And that's how I usually navigate around the model. Now that part's finished, let's save it. Let's have a look at the data panel here. I've made a folder earlier, you made one too, didn't you? So let's open that up and let's save it in there. So there's a little file button, file menu icon at the top. Then save as. Now I've already given mine a name, but let's save it in 16 parts. And we'll call this part one and save. So there we have it. How did you go? Uh, next time we'll do another one of these, we'll do number 2 out of 16, then I'll do some troubleshooting videos. 
Leave a comment below if you're having any trouble, let's talk about the problems that you're having. I know that everybody has problems at this stage and I'll make a special video for you. So click like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and you'll be notified whenever I publish. See you next time.